Imagine a structure so vast it could harness the power of the world's third longest river. Welcome to the Three Gorges Dam, cradled in the heart of Hubei Province, China. This colossal marvel isn't just any dam, it holds the title of the world's largest power station by installed capacity. Consider this for a moment. The Great Wall of China, one of the most iconic structures in the world, stretches over 13,000 miles. Now imagine a structure so extensive, it's visible from outer space. That's the Three Gorges Dam, standing at a staggering one and a half miles wide and over 600 feet tall. But it's not just about size, it's about the incredible force it contains. Picture the mighty Yangtze River, its waters surging at a mind-boggling rate of 31 million liters per second. Now imagine a structure so robust, it can harness this immense force, converting it into electricity that lights up millions of homes. The dam's sheer magnitude is a testament to human ingenuity. Its scale outmatches known structures. It's five times larger than the Hoover Dam in the United States. But it's not just about being the biggest, it's about power. The Three Gorges Dam has an installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts. To give you an idea of what that means, it's like having 22 nuclear power plants operating at full capacity. Thus, the Three Gorges Dam, an immense powerhouse, stands tall on the Yangtze River. Its magnitude reflects the audacity of human ambition, our ability to reshape the world around us. But as we marvel at this giant, we must also ask, what does it take to build such a structure, and what is its impact on the world around it? In the next scenes, we'll delve deeper into the secrets behind this engineering marvel, and explore its impact on our planet. But how does one construct a structure of such magnitude, you might ask? Well, it's a tale of ingenuity, resilience, and above all, engineering marvels. Building the Three Gorges Dam was no small feat. It required an army of workers, numbering in the tens of thousands, working tirelessly around the clock for over a decade. Imagine a project so massive that it required its own city, aptly named Dam City, to house the workers and their families. The foundation of this mammoth structure lies in the materials used, concrete, and lots of it. To give you a perspective, the dam contains enough concrete to build a highway stretching across the globe, not once, but twice. That's right, this marvel of human engineering holds over 28 million cubic meters of concrete. But the concrete is just one piece of the puzzle. At its core, the dam's strength lies in steel, over 400,000 tons of it to be precise. Each steel beam, each bolt was meticulously placed, forming an intricate web of strength and durability to withstand the relentless force of the Yangtze River. Of course, constructing a dam of this magnitude wasn't just about stacking concrete and steel. It was a symphony of complex engineering processes. The builders had to divert the river, dig deep into the earth to lay the dam's foundation, and then build it up layer by layer, all while battling the elements. Despite the challenges, the dam rose day by day, year by year, until finally, in 2006, the Three Gorges Dam stood complete a testament to human tenacity and engineering prowess. But remember, every piece of this gigantic puzzle has a role. Every beam, every bolt, every cubic meter of concrete contributes to this intricate dance of engineering. The Three Gorges Dam is not just a dam, it's a marvel, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. From a roaring river to the flick of a switch, how does the dam generate electricity? Imagine a massive amount of water, held back by a wall of concrete and steel. This is the first act in the drama of power generation at the Three Gorges Dam. The dam, a marvel of human engineering, uses the potential energy of the water stored in its reservoir to generate electricity. The force of gravity pulls the water down through an intake gate, where it rushes into a penstock, a giant tunnel that directs the water towards the turbine blades. As the water rushes past, it spins the turbines, converting the potential energy of the falling water into mechanical energy. But we're not done yet. This mechanical energy then needs to be converted into electrical energy. And that's where the generator comes into play. Attached to the turbine is a rotor, a series of large magnets that spin inside a coil of wire, known as the stator. 
As the rotor spins, it creates a rotating magnetic field that induces a flow of electricity in the stator. This is the principle of electromagnetic induction, discovered by Michael Faraday in the 19th century, at work on a grand scale. The electricity produced is then stepped up in voltage by transformers, making it suitable for long-distance transmission. High-voltage transmission lines carry this power across vast distances, bringing light and energy to millions of homes and businesses. And there you have it. The mighty Yangtze River, harnessed by the power of human engineering, is transformed into electricity that powers countless homes and industries. This is the magic of hydroelectric power. From a roaring river to the flick of a switch, the process is as fascinating as it is vital. So the next time you flick that switch, spare a thought for the incredible journey that the electricity has made. From the heart of the mighty Yangtze, through turbines and generators, across miles of transmission lines, to light up your world. The mighty Yangtze River, thus, lights up millions of homes. But such a giant doesn't exist without casting a long shadow. The Three Gorges Dam, while a marvel of human engineering, has left an indelible mark on the environment and society. Its construction has submerged vast landscapes underwater, forever altering the face of the earth. Once thriving forests, fertile farmlands and historical sites now lie deep beneath the waves of the Yangtze River. This loss of land is not just about the physical terrain. It's about the rich biodiversity, the cultural heritage, the lives and livelihoods that were rooted in these landscapes. This colossal project has also led to the displacement of communities. Over a million people, to be more precise. These are individuals, families, whole communities that had to leave behind their homes, their memories, their way of life. They were uprooted and relocated to make way for progress. But progress for whom, one might ask? The ecosystems around the dam too are at risk. The Yangtze River is home to a diverse range of species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. The dam has disrupted their habitats, threatening their survival. The Chinese river dolphin, for instance, was declared functionally extinct in 2006, a casualty of human development. The dam's impact on the environment doesn't stop at the water's edge. It extends beyond to the air we breathe. Yes, hydroelectric power is a cleaner alternative to fossil fuels. But the creation of such a massive reservoir leads to the decomposition of submerged vegetation, releasing methane, a potent greenhouse gas. And then there's the issue of sedimentation. The Yangtze River carries tons of silt, which gets trapped in the reservoir, reducing its capacity and efficiency. This sediment, rich in nutrients, used to replenish the downstream floodplains, making them fertile. Its absence now has implications for agriculture and fisheries. The environmental tale of this giant is as complex as its construction. It's a tale of progress and its paradoxes, of power and its price. It's a tale that compels us to think about the kind of future we want to build and the kind of legacy we want to leave behind. What does the future hold for such giants? As we gaze upon the Three Gorges Dam, this question echoes in our minds. This architectural behemoth is not just a symbol of human engineering prowess, but also a beacon for what's to come in the realm of large-scale hydroelectric projects. With the world's energy needs growing exponentially, the allure of renewable sources like hydroelectric power is undeniable. Projects on the scale of the Three Gorges Dam can generate immense amounts of clean energy, powering millions of homes without releasing harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And yet, the question remains, at what cost? The environmental impacts of such projects are significant, from the displacement of local communities to the disruption of delicate ecosystems, the shadow of these giants looms large. These are not just teething problems that we can simply brush aside. They are profound challenges that call for innovative solutions. The future of large-scale hydroelectric power lies in finding this balance. It's about harnessing the power of nature without causing irreparable harm. It's about creating structures that are not just marvels of engineering, but also models of sustainability. It's about building for tomorrow, but not at the expense of today. As we move forward, we must remember that progress is not just about pushing boundaries, it's about respecting them too. It's about understanding that our actions have consequences, and that every choice we make is a step towards the future we want to create. 
In the grand scheme of things, the Three Gorges Dam is more than just a dam. It's a testament to what we, as a species, are capable of. It's a reminder of our potential, and a challenge to use that potential wisely. So what does the future hold for such giants? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. As the sun sets on the Three Gorges Dam, we are left contemplating the paradox of progress.